welcome. Today I am really getting busy answering these comments. I just posted the video. Usually I like to answer them before I post, but that's just the way that it went today. I don't want to make anybody wait any longer for that one. I have two different places I need to go or that I want to go. I'm using this time today to get items, not really for Christmas, it's for things that I want to replace in like my wardrobe. You guys saw that I got um, a new pair of shoes from Aldo. I really like their shoes and I've been searching for ones from there for a while to replace ones that I've had. And also I've taken some time to go through the shoes that I have and I realized like they're I feel like I don't have many shoes to begin with, but the ones that I do have, I really don't wear all of them. And just keeping some for the sake of maybe I might wear them is just not a good enough reason to me. So I'm going to go through them again and I'm replacing them with quality shoes. I want so those Aldo ones that I got, just the regular pump, and then I also wanted to get um, another pair. I would like to get two because one is the pinky nude colored and then the other is white of the same type. I am so boring when it comes to shoes, but I like them to be very classy and, and pretty looking to me, but I'm really minimal when it comes to them, if that makes sense. I like something that I can wear with everything. I love the idea of having a white shoe for the spring and summertime. So that's why I wanted to get those. And then those are like the only ones that I wear. And you guys know that I like to get dressed up and I definitely get dressed up at any special occasion, any uh, Lord's Day, that's what I like to do. But um, I wanted to have shoes that were durable and that um, you know you could wipe clean really easily. And then there were just some things that bothered me about a couple of the other shoes that I had so enough talk about shoes but that was my mentality behind it and for this new year I want to just have what I know that I wear and get rid of the rest and um, be content with that and yeah so I just got done shopping and here's a little sneak peek of Christmas um, my Christmas outfit I got this for the past two years. I've done Ralph Lauren dresses. I just find that the fit of them is really great. And they also offer like fitted sleeves and their long sleeves. I'm all about a long sleeve dress in the winter time. I think I've talked about this before. Even with girls dresses, it just seems that it's so hard to find something that is appropriate for the winter time here. And, um, so I found this one. I had seen it online prior to going into the store, but I wanted to try it on. I had also wanted to get a coat, one that would be appropriate to wear with a dress because I've been going with the coats that I have, but they're not longer than my dresses. And that always bothers me because I feel like it just looks funny to have your dress hanging out the bottom. It's just just a personal preference there so I found a coat by Ivanka Trump and I love her line of stuff now she had it in a light pink color and then also in a like a black um, what is it it's like a tweed a black and white tweed sort of so I really liked the size of the black and white one but I don't like that style for me. I don't like the color scheme because a lot of you know I don't wear black. So I already have two pink coats so I felt like well am I going to get another pink coat. It's not the same shade as any of the other pink coats that I have but I just love the fit of this coat and it's the perfect coat to wear with a dress so I will no longer be wearing the other ones with a dress. And um, it is on the pricier side, but um, to have a coat that you really love, and I have tried on so many coats, I cannot begin to tell you, just to find that perfect coat. What I love about this coat it are the lapels because they are thin, 
and I hate huge lapels. I just feel like they really look very masculine on my body and with my little head. And so I was so happy to find this coat. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of this. This is the coat and the lapels, as you can see, very, very slim. I love an ankle strap and I love when I can find like really strappy, this thin of straps in shoes. I just think that they're so pretty. So I have my spring slash summer shoes already and I just figured, you know, while they have my size, because this size, I, <laughs> I had to get this off of Amazon, these ones, and then these, while they have my size, I had to go to a separate store, like two separate stores to find this size, which I did call ahead, but I thought, well, I would try another one, but yeah, they didn't have it. So anyway, while they had my size, I got those, and I also got them in a patent uh, nude blush, which they're the same as this just because I like the variation of them and because I wear these type of shoes every time to services. So I started switching some things out here. I went through my shoes. Now th those are my black shoes because I wear them to funerals. Eventually I'd actually like to switch those out too because I have to say the fit of them are not my favorite. Okay, so those are my summer, spring and summer. These are kind of more summery too, more spring because of the cutout. What's in here? Okay, these shoes, I have not worn these all winter and I think that, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with these because they're just not my favorite. These too, not my favorite which is sad because these are Brian James shoes and you know they really are like a more expensive shoe but I just don't wear them. I love my nude shoes and my burgundies and, and I'm good. Okay so I think that these are gonna go. Don't look at my mess, oh my gosh. Okay so these are definitely gonna go. I'm done. I'm done with all of these shoes. These ones, they've seen better days. Okay, so these are my new loves. Okay, now those will be nice and ready to wear then, but they're being protected by being in there. But that is my shoe story and I'm sticking to it. Right. This is the other dress. Now this one, I love it because it's actually longer. I think it comes right below my knee, which is great. However, it is bright red, orangey red, and that is not my favorite. However, I wanted like a holiday dress last year, so I got it. of pairing up the outfits that I have planned for what the outfits that I have planned for this holiday and um, I wanted to make a video on that just like a ultimate holiday video dress dress up edition or something like that um, and I was thinking of sharing that on Saturday so I'm just kind of putting everything together and then I also wanted to do a hair video and kind of just do a whole ultimate guide to holiday dressing. So that is what I'm getting ready to do right now. Aria was painting her nails and I just got done like clearing out my room. It became a, just like everything was piled in here. I Cute. I feel like I feel like one of those little girls that got her hair curled by her mother in the 80s or 90s or something. 
80s I think it was the 80s that's what I feel like but it also feels so retro and cute oh I don't need to look like everybody else <laughs> oh my gosh what will Jorge say hey guys how was school how the chips would go how do you go well, first of all, Adam is reading the book and says, no. <laughs> And you love me. <laughs> what is your reaction to this? Well, we know you're upset. But you were right. Without our chips, we're like totally useless. You like it? Like, Could you oh, see me doing this for a holiday party? Look, glad you guys learned Do you it. like it? I'm very disappointed in you. Now, how big of a bill can I expect from this story? No, I'm normal. You don't look like mommy. What does she look like? Alright everyone, I think that I'm just going to wrap up this vlog right here. I was reading all of your guys' comments. I haven't responded to any yet, but I noticed that I got a whole lot of comments uh, about me just not vlogging anymore. I plan on finishing out this Vlogmas series, but again it's just something that i'm going to consider whether or not to keep doing as often and um the main thing that i was making note of was the loss of subscribers so i didn't know if there was something that i was doing that was causing people to not want to watch anymore and that maybe it was because before I hadn't done as much vlogging and then with this month it just seemed like that's all that I was doing so anyway as I was saying even before vlogmas my numbers were never in my vlogging now I do enjoy vlogging and um, I enjoy being able to share that part of life with you all and especially those who it does inspire and you know whatever it is that you gain from that I'm I'm happy to share that and it's not something that I would completely cut out and say I would never do it's just something that I probably wouldn't do as much if that makes sense so anyway I just thought that I would put that in there I really don't know how much I got today on video I tried to make a couple of extra videos for this weekend, but I just wanted to thank you all for watching, for your comments, and for sticking with me this whole time. So until next time, I hope that you guys take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.